Star Wars 7x7 episode 2919. Where is the year going? It is July 1st. The second half of the year has just begun and it's time to look ahead at what's going to be happening in the world of Star Wars storytelling this month. Punch it! Hey Rebel Riser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. Alright, we are continuing our run-up countdown <laughs> to 3,000 episodes. And want to say thank you to Red Panda Z, I think that's how you would pronounce it, maybe, uh, for the great snack review on Apple Podcasts. And Red says, this is a great snack size Star Wars podcast, which is great for concise news and updates. And that's what we've got for you here today for sure. So thank you so much for that, Red. And thank you for all of the reviews that have been coming in since we've been highlighting them here on the podcast. If you haven't yet taken the opportunity to do that, to leave a review on Apple Podcasts, even though you don't have to be an Apple Podcast listener to do it, you can still do it. That's really awesome. And it helps more people find this Daily Dose of Star Wars joy so please consider it and thank you so much for your support all right if you've been around for one of these updates you know the drill and if not then I'll just give you the quick rundown 12 categories of Star Wars storytelling and it's always a challenge for me to remember them off the bat but movies live action animation books audiobooks short stories comics merchandise virtual reality video games live events and streaming I believe that's all 12 of them holy cow that was the fastest <laughs> I've ever done it. So we'll kick things off as we always do with movies. And right now the movie front is really just in, I mean, I'd say it's in turmoil if we were actually really hearing a lot of stuff about it. Just recently, Taika Waititi had an interview with the New York Times. He's promoting Thor Love and Thunder right now. And he said that he's still working on writing his Star Wars movie and he's not even sure if it's gonna get made. I mean, that's, you know, probably some modesty, I would think more than anything else. And they'll help him get that movie made but it's not being made it's still in the writing process and it should have been in principal photography if it was going to get made but that wasn't even the one we were expecting for 2023 that would have been Rogue Squadron and the last we heard about that was prior to the release of the Obi-Wan Kenobi series and Kathleen Kennedy said that they were taking a step back and working on the story some more so that has missed its you know deadline as it were to get into principal photography to make it in time for a December 2023 release at least based on the same calendar that The Force Awakens had been operating on so it would really be kind of a compressed compact production schedule if they were really to try to get it going that being said the Disney release calendar still has Rogue One for a December 23 release on its calendar. The most recent version was put out in April of 22. They haven't given us an update yet, but it does not seem like they're going to hit that date. I'm not going to lie to you. And on the one hand, yeah, that's disappointing. And on the other hand, I'd rather they take as much time as they need to get things right. So yeah, we'll keep an eye on it for you when, when there's new news and adjustments to the schedules and we will cover it here on the show. Meanwhile, on the live action front, there are at least five different live action Star Wars television shows that are in some form of development right now, which is just amazing. What a time to be a Star Wars fan. And I'm sure there are more that we haven't heard about yet. But here's where things stand right now. The Endor series should be wrapping up its post-production since it's going to be debuting at the end of next month. Season 3 of The Mandalorian is in post-production right now, anticipating a February 23 start date. The Ahsoka series is filming right now, and that'll be coming later in 23. And then the other two series that we know about are The Acolyte and Skeleton Crew, and those are in pre-production right now. Neither of them is filming just yet. Skeleton Crew is anticipated for 23, and we don't have a date for The Acolyte yet, but at this point, the projection is 24. And as far as Obi-Wan Kenobi and the Book of Boba Fett, well, no word on season two for either of those. Certainly with the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, interest has been expressed by the actors. They've said, yeah, with the right story, we're happy to go with it. And I'm sure something similar has been said with the Book of Boba Fett, but that's a situation where I almost expect there to be 
you know, stuff folded into the Mandalorian where Boba Fett and Fennec Shan show up there necessarily instead of a season two of the Book of Boba Fett. That's just me spitballing that sort of thing. On the animation front, there are also five different things in production right now, which is just, again, mind-blowing. There's Tales of the Jedi, which should be coming sooner rather than later. They should be wrapping that up. Bad Batch Season 2, Star Wars Visions Round 2, The High Republic Young Jedi Adventures, and a droid story, which we haven't really heard much about at all since it was announced in 2020 at the Investor Day. But all five of those animated series are in various stages of production right now. Moving on to the book front, we've got three releases of note in July. There's the Be More Obi-Wan book, which is part of the Be More series from DK Publishing. This one comes from Kelly Knox. That's dropping on July 12th. Then from Inside Editions, there is a Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Treasures from Batu book, which also includes a dozen artifacts, quote unquote. So that looks pretty fascinating, and that's going to be coming out on the 19th. And then on July 26th is the novel Padawan by Kirsten White. It is a young adult novel focused on on Obi-Wan Kenobi during his Padawan years and so it's going to have Qui-Gon Jinn involved as well and that comes out on July 26th. And then there will be an audiobook version of Padawan, although I'm having trouble finding information about that. I just know that the Disney Books website definitely is indicating that there will be an audiobook version. I just don't know who the narrator is going to be. On the short story front, we're not anticipating getting any new short stories in July. The next one should be coming from Star Wars Insider Magazine in August of 2022. On the comic front, there are, I think it's eight different titles altogether. So the flagship Star Wars title, the Darth Vader title, and the Bounty Hunters title are releasing issue number 25 for each of those. The Dr. Aphra series is releasing issue 22. And then over on the miniseries front, there's the fourth issue of the Halcyon Legacy series, the fourth issue of the Han Solo and Chewbacca series, the third issue of the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, and the first issue of The Mandalorian, which will be a retelling of the first episode, the first chapter, if you will, from season one of The Mandalorian. On the video game front, the next thing coming up is Star Wars Hunters, and we still don't have have a release date for it yet. Also, on the virtual reality front, we still haven't heard what the next big thing is going to be from ILM X Lab, and waiting for that with bated breath. On the merchandise front, you know, we went through Obi-Wan Wednesdays and barely talked about it here on the podcast, so I think I'm going to have to circle back and see what interesting things might have been revealed with all the product releases there, because, yeah, I don't know what happened <laughs> in over the six weeks that we barely even talked about it, but yeah, yeah, so we're going to have to go back and see what we can learn about that. Otherwise, nothing necessarily enormous on the merchandise front that we know about as far as it relates to Star Wars storytelling just yet. As far as streaming goes, there haven't been any announcements about this yet, but it seems pretty likely that we're going to get an Obi-Wan Kenobi Disney Gallery episode, or at least one episode, hopefully more. Wouldn't that be lovely? And it seems like they would probably want to release that prior to the release of the Andor series, so that way Andor can just have its own clean start. So I imagine we're going to hear something about a Disney Gallery episode for Obi-Wan Kenobi sometime this month. We may not get the episode this month, but I figure we should hear about it this month. And that leaves one last category, which is live events and experiences. So Star Wars Celebration tickets for 2023 in London have gone on sale, and there's already some sellouts. So the Jedi Master level is sold out, the four-day adult tickets are sold out, and the Friday tickets are sold out. The event actually takes place April 7th through 10th of 2023, which is a Friday through Monday. So, or is it the Saturday that it's sold out? Hang on a second. Sorry, my bad. It's the Saturday that's sold out. So the tickets that are still available are Friday, Sunday, and Monday adult tickets, four-day passes for kids, and single-day passes for every day for kids. And today the online shop for Celebration Europe opens up as well. Not necessarily expecting storytelling, merchandising things to be happening there. But hey, you know, since we were talking about it, I figured I might as well mention it. So there you go. That is the Fast and Furious rundown of all the highlights in Star Wars storytelling that we get to experience together during the month of July 2022. And as more news breaks over the course of the month, we will cover it here on the podcast. But for now, that is going to do it for today's episode of the show. And it just remains for me to say thank you so much for joining me for it as always. And may the Force be with you wherever in the world you may be. 
Awesome by Seven is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox, and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited, but their respective trademark and copyright holders may the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2021 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.